Hi, my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to the first Gaming Rules video for 2019. And this video is going to be a very simple unboxing video and it's going to be for the Ultimate Edition of Mage Knight. So this is a new edition of the game which came out very recently. I think it was available at the very end of December 2018. And this is the base game and all three expansions all included in one big box uh, with five extra cards and a new combined rule book that basically combines all of the stuff from all of the expansions together. I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of it, but there's a couple of other things in this video as well. So if you're not interested in the unboxing, but you want to skip ahead to the other bit, I'll put a timestamp on screen now because there's going to be a giveaway uh, announced at the, well, near the end of this video. Now, for those people who don't know, this is my number one favourite game of all time. Well, the base game was. Uh, so the base game came out in, I can't remember, but the base game came out and it is my favourite game of all time. I was lucky enough to be involved in working on the first expansion and then when Larger stepped away from Mage Knight, uh, WizKids approached me and the last two expansions, which is uh, Krang, uh, the extra character, and Shades of Tesla, uh, were co-designed by myself and a friend of mine and Vlager was was consulted on them but didn't really do any of the design work. So yes, it's a game which I have a games designer badge on BGG and it's because of this. So anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. As you can see, it's still in shrink. I've not even looked in this yet and I haven't seen any photos of it. So let's, let's have a look. So obviously it's, it's a big box. Um, it's got everything in there. So let's have a look at the back. And as you can see, all seven heroes, 26 scenarios and five new cards. And yeah, I mean, components wise, there were component issues with some of the expansions because they were printed at different times. This will hopefully, everything should be the right size. So uh, I'm quite excited about this. As I said, it is my favorite game of all time. I don't play it anywhere near enough. Um, the only time I'm gonna be playing it anytime soon is when I'm gonna be teaching some other people how to play. So let's have a look. So the box opens up okay. Sometimes it gets a bit stuck. Let's put this off to one side. Uh, right, so let's see what we have. I mean, the first thing that I've spotted is there is a certain gaming rules logo on the book. So uh, let's let's hope it's okay. Right, so what do we have? Uh, right, so we have the rule book and the game walkthrough. It is still in uh, two books. So when you first get the game, you need to put the rule book away because it won't make any sense whatsoever. And you basically, you go through the walkthrough and it'll tell you Everything you need to know, step by step, it will teach you how to play the game. So, and then once you know the game, you can then go into the uh, the rule book, which has got the rules in a very precise bullet point fashion. And as I say, they won't make any sense to you when you're learning the game. But basically, the rules changed between the base game and Lost Legion. So what we've done is we've combined those rules together. So you will no longer find, excuse me, my voice is going, you will no longer find just the rules of the base game. Uh, you will find all of the combined rules all together in there. So that's that's those. The new cards, right? So we have one sheet with the new cards, uh, which are dual coloured action cards. There you go, spoilers if you didn't know. Um, we have the sheet of all of the enemy tokens. So all of the tokens from the base game uh, and all of the expansion tokens, all on one. And the expansion rule books. Right, so yes, it wasn't possible really to get everything in. I can't remember, I, I couldn't remember us doing this, but yes, we've put the expansion stuff in here with the new maps and everything else. So you can just play the base game, which you should do. If you're ever gonna get the game, you should definitely not throw in all of the expansions first. Right, next. On with, oh, this is <laughs> this is like a proper Euro game now. There's like lots and lots of bits. So now, oddly enough, when WizKids first produced Mage Knight, they, the, the Factory, wherever they, wherever they get these printed, they don't supply you with punch boards. That's why I was surprised. I just remembered when you buy the normal copy of Mage Knight, the old edition, everything came pre-punched. So you got everything and it was all there. And I quite like punching out counters. This time, they've done something different. They have included punch boards so you can actually punch it out yourself or get somebody else to do it. Right, so we have, yeah, we have that board. Oh, it's really not, I, I've got to play this game. Okay, so <laughs> my first question is, are they punched well enough that I can get them out of their 
things without causing damage. And yeah, the hexes are falling out fine. They're falling out fine. I'm not going to punch them all out, but it looks centered, which is good. The worst thing I'd, I'd want to do is, is contact WizKids and say, sorry, but you know the copy that you gave me for designing the game? Well, I'm, all of the components are misprinted. Um, so no, it looks fine. Everything is just checking that they're all centered. Yeah, that looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. And let's just check that these punch out okay. Try not to lose, yeah, yeah. So they're punching out okay as well. Um, these are the avatars for the expansion. For those people who don't know the base game, this is, um, these are the avatars that you fight in Shades of Tesla. Uh, and these are the faction tokens as well that I put in. So yeah, there's all the punch boards. Right, what do we have here? So I believe from what I've read, the paint job on these is supposed to be better than the paint job on the original game. I will show some close-up photos of these on screen now, but I'm looking at them and wow, yes, these are these are much better painted. So yeah, they are really nice. Very much, very much like them. So they are they are the figures. Let's put them to one side. And we have an insert. Right, now I'm not normally a big fan of inserts, but oh, is it lock bags? That's good. We have the mana dice, which is good. We've got some silica gel. Uh, make sure you don't eat that. We have the crystals, and there was a problem with the coloration on the crystals from the base game. Um, and have they fixed it? Yes, they have, I think. Let's have a look. Let's try and find the black ones. Because the black ones were too similar to the blue ones, or the blue ones were too similar. Yeah, that looks that looks okay. The black ones could have done with being a little bit darker. Again, I'll put a picture of those on screen. Uh, but they're the crystals. And then we have all of the cards. So quite a few cards with the game. And there is the insert where everything goes. So I'm gonna to have to find where everything goes in the insert. Now, one question that I've been asked is, do sleeved cards fit in the, in the insert? So I'm gonna do that as a test now. I'm gonna open one of these up. Okay, so, oh, and the cards are a lot better than the cards from the original game. The original game, uh, the card quality was absolutely awful, really thin. Uh, the cards just wore uh, really badly. So this, these are fine. These are, these are normal standard card quality. So it looks like the cards go in there, like that. Um, and let's do the test of whether sleeve cards fit in or not. So I have a pack of my favorite uh, sleeves here. Other brands are available, but I stick with Fantasy Flight Games sleeves because I don't like holograms. And I like my card sleeves to all be the same size when you buy a pack and not different sizes. So, here we go. Most exciting video online, Paul sleeving a game. So there we go, I've sleeved a card, does it fit in? Yes, it fits in. So assuming that's where the cards go, uh, which I think they do, I can't see them going anywhere else, then sleeve cards do fit in there. Now, I've not sleeved all of the cards to see whether they fit in horizontally or not, but hopefully they, uh, they do. So, um, yeah. That is the Mage Knight Ultimate Edition. If you are a fan of the game uh, and you like the expansions, then thank you very much. Um, that's really good to know. Uh, I'm not really a games designer. I'm not going off designing any other games. It's just when you get the chance to design an expansion for your favorite game, couldn't really turn it down. Just wish I'd agreed um, some commission on it rather than a fixed fee. Because um, then I'd be making more money from it. But anyway, I'm really happy to see that WizKids decided to give it another lease of life. And now onto the second part of the video, where we talk about this. So this is Mage Knight, um, which you may have heard of. And this is my current copy of Mage Knight. I haven't opened this for years. So <laughs> um, now, the first thing you're probably gonna notice is there is a very nice box insert here. This is the Daedalus Productions box insert for the game. Uh, all of the cards uh, are sleeved. Um, and it's got all of the expansions in there. And I think it's got all of the expansions in. I'm not 100% sure, I need to check this. I mean, I do have a copy of all of the expansions. I just don't know whether um, Shades of Tesla is in here because this, ex this expansion box was produced uh, before Shades of Tesla. So I do need to check that. But the question is, what am I going to do with my original copy of this game? 
It's of no use to me now at all. I mean, it looks nice, and the, the Daedalus insert looks gorgeous, and this doesn't have that, but I've got everything again now in the Ultimate Edition of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a charity raffle. This is going to be done in coordination with the Board Game Trading and Chat UK Facebook group. But if you're not on that Facebook group and you still want to get entered into the contest, then drop me a message, let me know, and I'm sure we can work something out. Chris Bromley, who is one of the admins of the group and who set the group up, and Chris is a good friend of mine from a long time ago, a very long time ago, um, has agreed to help run a charity raffle. So basically, we're going to be running the charity raffle um, and then one person will be picked and they will win this. I will get it to them somehow. Hopefully, if you're going to a UK convention, because I don't want to post this. Um, yeah, I really don't want to post it. I want to get it to you somehow. But details on that on the Facebook group if you're interested. And the other thing, um, where, where, oh, the charity. So the charity that I'm choosing to support is the Chrysalid Youth Empowerment Network, which is a group which does a lot of good work in Africa. Uh, ben Parkinson is the person that I know who helps coordinate things there. Um, I've donated money to them. Uh, Gaming Rules, my company, has made a charity donation to them in cash. And I wanted to raise more money for them. I'm probably going to raise more in, in this than I donated in cash myself. But um, yeah, so it's going to them. They do great work in Africa with the kids there. And board gaming is a big part of, of what they do. So uh, yeah, so that's the Chrysalid Youth Empowerment Network. Um, and all money will be will be going to them. Now, there's some other things. Some of you know that I run a Patreon campaign for to help me make uh, videos. Uh, thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters uh, who basically allow me to create videos like this. Um, if you are interested in the content that I create, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every month I do a giveaway, and the giveaway for December was a copy of Libertores and Tulip Bubble donated by Mo Ideas. Thank you very much again to Mo Ideas for this. The winner of the contest uh, was a gentleman under the name of Brian Richards over in America. Thank you very much, Brian, and congratulations. But I wrote to Brian, and Brian said, thank you very much, but um, he doesn't want me to send all of the, ga the games all the way over to America. And also, he plays games mainly with his wife, and it's only two-player games. So... Brian has asked me to put these games back into some kind of charity raffle thing. So that's what I'm going to do. The winner of the contest will win the Mage Knight, okay? But then I'm going to get Chris to do a second draw after this, and they will win uh, a copy of these games. So Tulip Bubble, Libertores, from Mo Ideas. Again, one big charity pot. The first pick will get the Mage Knight Ultimate Edition, and the second pick will get these two games. Um, Chris is going to be coordinating it all, so thank you very much again to Chris. And I think that's everything. So, a bit about the unboxing of the game, a little bit about the game itself, and what we're doing for raising some money for uh, the Chrysalid Youth Empowerment Network. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.